on to talk a little bit about the genesis of the Lost Highway. In 1979, during a trip to New York City, I stumbled quite by accident into a super show. It was at the Museum of Natural History. Now back in that day, the subway dropped you off right in the basement of the museum. And I'm sure there were posters there talking about the super show. But I wasn't interested in that. I was there to see the whale. They have a room there in that museum that's the size of an arena football league field. It has a domed ceiling three stories up made out of some kind of tinted glass. And down the middle of this room hangs a blue whale. It's got to be close to 100 feet long. It's been a favorite of mine since I was a kid. What I did not realize at the time was that the whale was closed for repairs. I tried several ways in, but was thwarted. Finally, I saw a small door that said, Do not enter. I entered it. I found myself in a marvelous exhibit. There were plaster casts of the dead, mosaics, murals, and of most interest to me, models of Roman architecture. This exhibit stretched for several rooms, and they were crowded. But it worked out well for me because I was going one way and everybody else was going the other way. When I got to the end, which was the beginning for everyone else, I could see a line stretching across the rotunda and down the stairs. There were people waiting to buy tickets. Above them stretched a huge banner that said, Pompeii. At the time, i have been living in Arkansas for many years and traveling every summer to upstate New York to visit my family. Changes were happening along the way. The old roads were being replaced by the interstate. The services on the old roads, small-time filling stations, hamburger stands, tourist courts, were being replaced by new chain operations out on the four lane. We were the only country that ever developed a road culture of any scale. The 1950s were the high water mark. We owned four out of every five cars in the world. But it was disappearing now, being buried not by ash, but by progress. The past is the past, be it two years or two thousand years ago. Somehow I got it into my head that I might build my own super show one documenting the end of this uniquely American era. I took a lot of photos. I was in art school in Little Rock at the time, but an idea like this just wasn't compatible with an academic system. Each piece takes between two and three months. That meant I could do one at best in a semester if I had no other classes. Also, abstraction still held the throne. And if you were doing realistic work, it was hard to be taken seriously. The biggest influences on me became people like Simon Rodia and his Watts Towers, Edward Leeds Callan, Coral Castle, and James Hampton's Throne in the Third Heaven. I doubt these men were at all interested in what was trending in the art world. I don't even know if they considered themselves artists. I know the art world didn't, not while they were still alive. But there was a purity and a sense of purpose that had to be admired. I figured if they could do it, why not me? In the mid-1980s, an affair of the heart landed me in New York City. I took a job working for a small company that built models for architects and museums. This is where I learned to work in miniature and use the plexiglass. The affair ended and I returned to Arkansas. I worked up some drawings found studio space, bought or built the tools I needed, and started work on the Lost Highway. It was like stepping off into the abyss. In 1975, I was painting a mural in Little Rock. I was 25 years old. A friend gave me a copy of Joyce Carey's The Horse's Mouth. I read it. I thought Gully Jimson to be the most delightful character and eccentric as can be. Twelve years later, I had become Gully. If you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. Consider it your homework assignment. For the next 15 years, I was down that rabbit hole. I spent my days either working on a lost highway or trying to make enough money to get back to work on a lost highway. For what it's worth, this is my Pompeii.